How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph with Customs? Let's get his tram frame wrapped up and we'll see what the rest of the week brings. I can see my breath, I don't know if you can. Triumph out for a shakedown pre jollies because we're going on our jollies this coming Easter weekend. It is when I'm filming time of filming the uh, current the next weekend is uh, Easter weekend. So, yeah, we're on there a lot. Everything fucking donkey Dora, the old girl performed beautifully as always. I can't believe I've left that on there. That's mad. You're the last thing I'll use. Anyway, we don't have much help. We've got 100 brake horsepower on a 90 degree throttle, so it fucking runs away with you. It weighs about as much as a fucking 250. There's a small bike. So, let's get back in the fucking workshop area. Right, you may recall that we were on this, uh, these rear frame mounts on this frame, and I'll show you what I do. I've already made Three. Why is there three there? There should be four. Oh well. Anyway, what I've do, look, is I clamp a bit of bar on to represent the plate that I'm going to make, and then I measure the gap in here and go from there and take a millimeter off because this is five mil and I'm going to use six mil. Six mil. So next is measure them and make them. I'll show you how I do it over on the lathe, but. There's three, there should be four. That's done my head in a bit. There should be four on this side, for real lot. Oh, I'm not showing you. Two there. I'll go straight back and then down two inch. And the same here, I'll go straight back and then down two inch if there's room. Um, so on and so forth. So I, I need to knock another one of those up. It's is 25 mil OD with a 10 mil thread. And that, I know they're 25 mil long because uh, well, I've made three. I thought I've made four. There you go. Right now, let's uh, start the ball rolling with a clean up pass. I need to uh, bear with. Slow my feet rate down a bit. <clears throat> oh, it's still fucking bastard. Right, let's see what we're at. We want 25 and we're going to be at 29.5. Twenty-nine point five on the nose. So we'll set a digital readout. X is 29.5. And we'll go from there. So we'll get rid of the 0.5 and the 29. We'll get down to 27 and a half. No, 27.5, fuck it. Yeah, she blows. This material's a bit gnarly. So we'll have a bit of fucking... Put the water on. Much better. We'll take that down to uh, about there. And then we'll come out and we'll go again down to size, which is 25 mil. There. Yeah, that is. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, not the best finish in the world. Then maybe my tip's a bit tired, to be fair, like. But we'll be ready for this one. So, that's that. We've already put a centre in the end. Yeah, there, look. So, we can start drilling that and tapping it. So we'll go in with an 8.7 drill bit, which is the tapping size for 10mm uh, thread. 
can see what we're cutting. Let's just get that lined up from a scale that you can't see so I know what depth I'm going to. And now we'll just put a, a chamfer on there with a counterboard tool to start the thread before slowing things right down and going in with a tap. Like so. So that should take it until it doesn't. Which we'll call that. Now we'll just reverse it out. Sorted. Right, the last operation is to part that off. So we'll just make a start like that. Then we'll break those two edges and get in there and break that edge. Give it a bit of water, that's in your way. Well done, move you around. There you go. Now you see what I see. Could be a song that could, could not it? Tommy. Do you see what I see? Right. So we'll have that cut off in short order. I do believe. Although you're getting fucking drenched, so. There you go, job's a good one. So with all those modules made, those mounting chats that are going to weld on this top uh, centre post, we now need to work out the gap between the holes. So what I do is put uh, something through as a guide. This one's a bit loose, but uh, that's because this bottom one's a bit furred up. But I'll put a punch through and then I'll measure from the center across to the middle of the backbone. Near enough's good enough, you know, it's not within thous. Um, so we've got this distance. And I've got two inches between these two, so that's one ten there, yeah. And here we've got half inch in from the edge both ways, because we're going to radius that to suit those. Yeah, here's your two inch. And then half inch again. We've gone one ten, and we we'll set a dividers to half inch after we've centre dotted that, and we'll scrape a line, scrape a line, scribe a line around to show the curves and join them up. Then we'll have a triangle with the shape that we want scribed into it. Same this side of the plate. Use the plate I've already got. The square. So we we'll use use what we've got. We'll come in half inch, then two inch and then another half inch mark and we'll measure another one off say that bottom one which is inch and seven eighths and do exactly the same there to plot them out and we'll get all four we'll get all four plates off the four corners of this plate which saves a bit of fucking about right hello so here's where we're at we've got those all marked look with the corners in the triangle yeah one two three try you know corners corners triangle triangle pouring into it, drill the fucking holes in it and i don't want to cut them out and then be struggling to hold this triangular piece of steel in the uh machine vice like while i'm trying to use my pillar uh, my bridge ford is it la bridge ford because uh, it's actually in in duma which is an italian copy and very very good too so what i've done I've, I've bolted the plate down basically the old thing like and i'm going to drill the holes out so we're on a standoff so there's fucking supports underneath they're like it's fucking johnny rock and i'm not going to be over precise with mapping out oh, that's my corner that's my datum and i'll move whatever that is inch and seven eighths or whatever it is no i'm just going to find the centers and work my way around. I think I'll have to undo the plate and spin it round because I won't reach this end. But that's no no big deal, like. So I'm on the first one. And we'll have that off. And I'll swap it out for these two are 10 mil. So we've got a 10 and a half mil clearance. And the uh, one up the sheet, if you like, is uh is 12. So we've got 12 mil clearance. Happy days. Right, 
Righto, off we go. Into the bright blue yonder. Get that down and lined up. Click the auto feed, square to the old good stuff. And away she goes, Captain. Nice and simple. No dramas. Sorted. So, we'll now fuck that off that way, line up with that one. Um, but because I've not squared the plate up, I've not done anything exact, all I'm going to use is my pointer up. So, that goes in there, this fucking thing's going to rust it up, it's not good is it? So that goes in there, let me spin it up, get it running as true as we can, and then we just move everything until that lines up with the next one, which is somewhere about there left to right and pretty much bang on in and out so happy days we'll work our way around the plate doing that um there'll be 12 mil clearance there 10 mil clearance so on and so forth there we go another hole through happy days gotta be pleased with that ain't it and like i say we'll just then keep fucking about with it, getting it where it needs to be, onto the next one, it's more hard work moving it, the fucking bed around than it, than it is drilling the hours obviously because we have auto feed but we don't have auto jiggle the bed quick, we don't have a rapid movement for any of this shit and this one's right on the edge of its fucking movement so it's tight, it's quite tight, it's not been used much there. So this way, we're on the extreme. I'm pretty sure we'll get the other end though, to be fair, which is one thing, look. Here we go, jumping the gun a bit there, Alfred. So, yeah, in with that. Get that nice and level. And we're going to be about there, I reckon. Drill it out for 12, so stop that, move that up. Here next door is compressor, you probably can't hear it. The marbles of noise cancelling. <coughs> Next door's compressor, I bet it's fucking loud when you're in there. It's loud coming through my wall. Okay. Happy days. Come on. Come on, baby. There she blows. Not much wrong with that. Straight through. 12 and a half mil. Sorted. Right, oh, so with all the holes drilled everywhere, you can't see, but they're all over it. Like it's two twelves, uh, sorry, one twelve and two tens. What I'm now ready to do is drill the through holes, the light lightening holes. Yeah, so I'm gonna have on the two biggest plates, we'll have a one inch hole, and on the two smaller ones, we'll have a seven eighths, I think, or three quarter, three quarter, well, 20 mil. So, what's that little job it like? So, I'm hoping this will behave in this gear because I don't want to have to fucking change the speed because it'll be really slow. Next speed down's off of this like, so let's see how well it goes. We're all good and clamped and supported, physically, spiritually and mentally. I'm not sure about emotionally, but we'll be weak. Go. Come on, nice and steady, no rush. We'll gently work our way through. Oh, we're making chips, and away she goes. So, before I did the break, if you check out the video of me 
fixing the brake on this uh, milling machine, it wouldn't do this, it would lock up. You see, it's trying it here now. There we go. So yeah, it's just not quite got it. Like probably this also is not the best, to be fair. So let's uh, let's see what's fucking what. Where am I? It's there. It might be bunged. I reckon it also was bunged. No, it doesn't appear to be. Let me change this out for a, a nice one, a nicer one, and then we'll see what's what. Right, so we'll get this on screw. It's fucking hot. Like so. And to be fair, although all the paint's burnt off it, it's not look too shabby. So, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Is my uh, official take on it. Bear with. Right, sod the expense time. No, I'm for a brand new one. See what that does. So, plenty of lube. Nice and gentle. See, so I don't want to play. There we go. And there she blows, look. It's got on it. We're right through, look. There, boosh. So, yeah. What a difference a new saw makes. Alright, let's see how the 7 eighths one goes. Sorry, 3 quarter one goes. I'm hoping this will power through. Let me manually do the uh, pilot hole. There we go. Come on, baby. Do do do. Do do do. Here we go. Any minute now. Right, that's through. And we're starting to cook. So, put the power feed on. See what it does, eh? The worst it can do is stop. But I don't think it will. I think it'll work wonderfully. Oh no, it's cut off. Too much resistance. So. Go again. Go on, baby. Boom, you can do it. Take some driving through. I don't know these. I don't have it. It gets that far and then it stops. It goes hard. I reckon it's fucking sent the pilot drill. It's got something going on. I don't know. I don't know what it is, do I? I know if I really fucking lean on it like that, it goes through. So that's what we're doing. I'll check it out when I'm done. I need to get these holes done now. Okay, guys, so <coughs> there you fucking go. There's those three plates, sorry, those three plates are all drilled, three mounting arrows, uh, and a lightning arrow. Lightning, lightning, light, is that right? Is that the right term? And all that breaks them up a bit, makes them look better and fucking lightens them. Yeah, whatever. So, we can get this over to the fucking bench. Look, I'm undo my standoffs. <coughs> my toe clamps. There's no toes for harm in the making of these clamps. And I'll get over to the bench now. We've got a scribe of liners to cut them off. Um, so it's going to be a cutting saw job, which I'll spare you. You don't need to watch me sweating over the angle grinder. Well, I'm roughed out with a cutting saw, with a slitting saw like. <coughs> Put a new, new disc in. Sharp and easy. Look, sharpness. One, two, three, four, five. So, if I could get him in with one hand, I can't. There you go. I'll have a new one of these in, look. That'll do it. Hey. Okay. And we'll prop it with our fucking <coughs> bastard. Like that. Cheers then. Bit of railway line. Should hold it, the old paperweight. We'll get a cunt cut off. Right, now. Oh, undo that. So, here they are, look. Missing their nicely radius corners. And just cut off 
just roughed out if you like but what i'm gonna do is i've made myself some guides with the right radii uh, and bolted them together with them basically and i'm just gonna follow them like so we'll give that top a good sand up and then we'll fucking do that and follow that sorry follow that round we might cut it with a cutting saw uh, and then follow it around with the sander and so on and so forth we'll swap that one to that hole when it comes to doing that one and that way we're golden i don't want to use the ones that bolt on the end that bolt on the frame that weld onto the frame fuck me get your words out i'm not going to use the ones for the bike itself because they're going to get damaged yeah they're precious look they're still there safe and then they'll get welded on we'll put these bolts through Got a transfer punch away, Ralph. We'll put the bolts through wherever I've put them. Oh, yeah, I'm not. And tighten the plates up with these on the on bar, and then weld it up. Fucking happy day. So yeah, I'm going to use the uh, cutting disc and the flappy wheel to get that nicely contoured using those as a guide. I'll show you when I've done when I've done that pair light. You can see. So there you go. Look. You can see where um where I've used the guides. I've done that that end, and I've done it. Well, I've done all three now, and this is a bit odd actually. So bear with. Um, that does it nicely. Now I can't. I've got to do these individually. It's a different look. So that's not going to work on these. Yeah, one's bigger than the other. Ooh, I'm not showing you very well. One's bigger than the other, so we'll do them individually. That's no problem. Happy days. Right, oh folks. So there they are. The fucking camera's proper jerky. I don't think it records jerky, but looking through the viewfinder, it's sketchy as fuck. So hopefully it'll look clearer to you. But that frame is now made. The engine's fitted. And the engine mounts are made and welded in. All of the tubing's in place, all tacked up. Um, all it leaves me to do really is weld everything I can while it's in the position it's in now. Then probably take the engine out and flip it over and do all the rest of the welds and put the engine back in. Put the front end in and the back end in. And we'll have a rolling chassis, won't we? Righto, so, with that cooling off, we'll have a quick brew. Um, and then probably, off camera, I'll free it from the jig and get the engine hoist in, get the engine out of it. Uh, and then finish welding up and cleaning the frame. Welding and cleaning up the frame is what I've tried to say. So next time you see this, it'll just be a frame all welded and cleaned up, I think. Nearly there, look. We're off the bench, up in the air. Uh, it sits a bit high at that, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is drop it down and get the front end in, get the back wheel assembly in, and then uh, we'll call that frame a wrap. There she blows, boys. There she blows on her wheels. Nice stocky little fucking rigid, that. Bit of ground clearance, but there's gonna be an exhaust under there, which will more than fill that gap, so. Still going to catch your speed bump, as does mine. And I think he'll agree. <coughs> well, I hope he'll agree. That's it's fucking lovely. I don't know why, but the camera's showing really dark. It's like it's not responding very well to the backlight. But there you go. So, it's a fucking There you fucking go. <coughs> Excuse me. That's another Triumph rigid frame. All squared away. There's going to be more work on it, so if you give me a sub and a thumbs up, you'll get a notification and you can follow along as we carry on this build. I'm not doing it to completion, 
But uh, there's still plenty of bits and bobs to be getting on with. Just fucking frame, frame shot, frame shot, Ralph. Happy days. Uh, it just leaves me, as always, to thank you for watching. Yeah, check out the merchandise and all the bump in the description below. You can see about being a member and supporting the channel a bit, which is much, much appreciated, all my members. Thank you. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. So, yeah, have a great one. Lots of love. See you soon.